George, thank you so much for the great ride. Okay, thank you. Good day, everyone. I hope you're doing well. This is Tim, and I hope you're having a wonderful holiday and a Merry Christmas to all. And this is certainly festive here. And thank you so much for joining. I got a chance to uh, eat here at Chef Ludico Bovaras, and uh, this is a beautiful old house. And I got a chance to enjoy a wonderful meal with Sam and Carla the other day. Lots of good food, crispy lechon, Filipino style, and such an amazing festive environment. This is absolutely my favorite buffet here in Manila and the Philippines. So uh, thank you so much. I thought it would be great that we can eat together and I can't wait to come back and uh, take you with me. Uh, come on, I hope you're hungry. Come on, let's go. So it's not too busy yet, but as I recall, it gets pretty, pretty busy. Hi, hello, good evening. Oh, hi. Oh, and I see the buffet area all set up. Hi there. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sir. Thank you so much. So absolutely festive here and a wonderful table and this beautiful room. And I am joined with Chef Ludico and there's some wine here. Cheers. Chef Ludico, thank you so much. And cheers to you. Mm. Oh, very nice. And Chef Lidico, this is such a beautiful house. This is like you're welcoming us to your home. Yes, actually, it's a 1926 heritage house. You feel like you're eating in your grandfather's house. And I think that's why it's my favorite buffet. It's, it, it's like family. Yes. A wonderful meal, fantastic food. And uh, Chef Jackie is uh, fantastic at the pastries. And I can't yes. wait to show you that. Yep. But uh, really beautiful here. <laughs> oh, thank you. And a Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, too. It's much, much better. Oh, that is so smooth and floral. Really nice and buttery. Mm. Very nice. And uh, before we step into the buffet, let me show you the festivities here. And again, this is the grand room here and outside. You can see people taking pictures and celebrating the holidays. So uh, really nice here. And I think with that, uh, let's go check out the buffet. Come on. And let me get the mask on here because uh, it's really cool here because here, it's, it, this is not because of the uh, situations we have many years ago. This is for pure cleanliness and uh, you should check out the buffet here. Cleanliness is certainly one of the things they focus on. Most of the things are served to you and there's only a few sections where you can help yourself, such as some of the appetizers and the bread, which is okay because we can stay away from the bread, but let's go check it out. Oh, hey, Merry Christmas. Hi. Hi. Oh, that looks wonderful. So Chef Ludico, did yeah. you do all of this? You yes. and the team and... Yes. Uh, I do the, the savory dishes. Yeah. And my wife, Chef Jack, does the desserts. Ah, the because dishes. she's so sweet. Yes, ah, of course. Wonderful. <laughs> and I'm bitter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bitter and salty, but in the wonderful way there. Uh, well, I'm going to give the soup a try. Sure. Give one salt. Oh, thank you. Salt, oh, wonderful. I think this would be wonderful. Thank you. And after a few minutes, it does get pretty busy as people are trickling in due to the Manila traffic. And let's see what we have here. Beautiful breads. Oh, and I can see the Spanish influence with the ensamada and the guava jam. And now we get to the savory items. Wonderful little sandwiches and a little bit of sardines. Let's go for a little bit of those right over here all right and i believe this is the only section you can touch the rest is all served to you oh and the salads look so good let's see hi micah oh which uh, salad would you recommend oh can i try a little bit of the macaroni oh thank you micah so a really good recommendation from Micah. Oh, and this is my favorite salad. And it gets better because it's not only potato salad, it is potato and bacon and garlic. Would it be possible to get a little bit? Thank you so much. So this is really nice. Uh, very efficient use of the salad station. 
And now we come to a wonderful hot food station. And it's even better because everything is nicely deep fried and crunchy. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of the beef empanadas. Let's see. Oh, nice and crispy with a little bit of crispy spinach. Oh, thank you. Francis, thank you so much. I needed the extra hand. A lot of people ask, uh, how do I get all the food over to the table? And uh, Francis is certainly one of the helper helpers here. Oh, and look at this. Some mussels, some fried quail eggs. These are crispy water spinach. Definitely give that a try. Perfect salad plate. And oh, these are chicken croquettes with some crispy spinach. And moving on, a row of sushi, beautifully displayed. And one cannot say no to a nice deviled egg. Hi Ray, can I get a deviled egg? Oh, thank you. And uh, let's see, lots of sushis here. From the tuna to oh, an adobo sushi. I've never heard of an adobo sushi before, but definitely gonna give that a try. Number one and number two. Some chicken in a sal maki and some lechon maki and some wonderful dishes up over there. Beautiful grilled pork. And now we are moving on. We are transitioning to the wonderful hot food. This is the row of quashed goodness. And as much as I like the white rice, they have a beautiful paella, or this is uh, actually jambalaya. Hey Russell, uh, can I get some jambalaya? Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I think that's good. Well, well that's good too, thank you. Russell is certainly generous and uh, let's see, but I might be in trouble. So moving from the white rice, we have a longanisa meatball pasta. But as nice as the Italian flavors are, I think we need to go for some Filipino flavor. This is seafood balabok. May I have a little bit? Oh, oops, sorry. Thank you so much. The hot food looked amazing and it continues, but I think I'm gonna save that for uh, the second round while everything is nice and hot. But I think uh, for the appetizers, I think there's one thing I don't wanna miss up because we are making an excursion over here. And I'm not sure if you can hear the crunch, but this is a magnificent lechon, beautifully lacquered. Hey Vincent, how are you? You are the most important person here, I think. Uh, can I go for a little bit of lechon? Oh, thank you so much. Maybe one more, just a little bit. Oh, thank you, Vincent. All right, so this is looking absolutely amazing and uh, I'm not used to wearing a mask. And uh, luckily this is only for cleanliness and uh, it is a clean buffet and it's a beautiful buffet. And I think I might've overdid it with a lot of the food but I think I need to try the lechon first. That wonderful crispy skin, nice and crispy. And as they say, lechon doesn't wait for you, you wait for it. Oh. That is shatteringly crispy, but light at the same time. Beautifully thin skin, as they say, but the meat is nice and moist. What a contrast. Little soft tenderness and a hard crunchy shell and light at the same time. It just melts in your mouth and crackles at the same time. And I gotta try the water spinach tempura. This is something I've never had. Well, let's give this a try. A little bit of sauce. Oh. What? Oh. Thank you so much. And the server and the hosts here are absolutely spectacular. And thanks to Edward for keeping everything well stocked up or well topped up because this tempura is wonderfully crispy and perfect with that. Would be a nice glass of wine. All right, Marcus. Very nice. Oh, wonderful. And I can't wait to try the empanada. And I think the only way to eat this is with our hands impeccably clean and impeccably good. This is beautifully flaky, nice and buttery and the uh, overfilling meat filling inside. 
And you know what? Would make the empanada even better. Empanada in the seafood soup. Oh. And as good as the empanada is, that soup is wonderfully creamy and seafoody. If seafoody is a word, this would describe it. Creamy, depth of flavor, sweetness of the sea, and light at the same time. And uh, after that lightness, let's try for the coquette. Let's give this a try. This is wonderfully sinful with nothing wrong with mashed potatoes, beautiful chicken, and a crispy, crunchy crust. Very nice. And as nice and the crunch, as nice as the crunch is, can't even speak, it must be the wine. Gotta try that salad from uh, Micah. This is the macaroni salad. And like all good salad, it's even better with cheese. Oh, that is certainly cheesy with a wonderful creamy macaroni. Mm. Not bad, but my favorite has to be the potato salad and it gets even better because of the bacon. Very nice. And finally, I need to try something called an adobo sushi, the best of two cultures, Japanese and Spanish and Filipino. I think that makes it three cultures. So when you come here, definitely go for the lechon and definitely go for the adobo sushi. Nice and tangy and savory. Wonderful vinegary flavors with the savory soy. Cheers. So, I'm gonna finish the first round and I can't wait to go for all those hot foods and all those roasts and <clears throat> we'll take you back. Mm. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for finishing that up. So that was a lot of food and uh, thank you to Chef Ludico for finishing that bacon uh, uh, bagnet. Thank you. And I always have trouble saying it, but really delicious here. That sardine, nice and oily and meaty. And that was the only time I missed not having some bread. And I got into a little bit of trouble because of the generosity of Ray, lots of noodles and a generous helping of the jambalaya. And Chef Ladico was nice enough to recommend having a little bit of the bacon bagnet on the palabo. Really delicious, a little bit messy, but very scrumptious nonetheless. And I am so glad I did not get the plain rice because that jambalaya was just so flavorful. Wonderful seafood and meaty flavors, a little bit of spice and the perfect texture. And with that, I think we are gonna go for some hot food. Uh, still have a little bit of appetite, uh, so let's go. All right, so round two. And uh, when I said I still have a little bit of appetite, I've been training for this. All right, so continuing where we left off, let's see. Oh, I still remember the generous helping of the balabok. Where we see wonderful creamy potatoes, I think we'll see a wonderful roast as well. Hi, sir. Hey, Errol. Can I get a little bit of the um, potato gratin? Oh, that's wonderful. That is all I can handle because there is still so many foods to try. And let's see, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of veggie, seafood chop suey, beautifully fried fish. Oh, and I can't say no to some fish. Just one. Oh, thank you so much. A beautiful chicken, and I am going to skip the chicken stew in lieu for the fried chicken. Hi, Errol. Can I get a little bit of the fried chicken? Just one piece. And what goes good with fried chicken? Gravy. This is wonderful fried chicken with a wonderful gravy. Chicken joy at its finest. Some beautiful beef stew. Oh, can I get a little bit of uh, beef balakao? Oh, perfect. 
and I just couldn't resist with the beef balacao. I got a little bit of rice and let's see. Oh, so we have some crab and we have a beautiful lingua in cream sauce. Thank you so much. And as nice as the lengua is, I think there is more stewy goodness. This is the pork asado. Hi, right, can I get a little bit of the pork asado? Oh, perfect, thank you. And a mushroom there, a little bit of veggies. So perfect, some meat, some veggies, we're all covered. So beautiful shrimp. Oh my goodness, this is such an iconic dish. And I heard it takes three months to prepare. Hi. Can I go for a little bit of the kere kere? Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Oh, no veggies, no veggies. I've got enough veggies, thank you. And when I mentioned it takes three months to prepare, it's not for the kere kere. This is the bagaong. And a little bit will do ya. Right on the side. And now we're talking, this is a carvery station. Vincent, that uh, lechon was absolutely delicious. So crispy. Oh, and let's see, you've got other as well. Can I get a little bit of the uh, the roast? Oh, look at that. Can I try a little bit of uh, the chicken roll? Oh, right in the center. Thank you so much. That looks absolutely lovely. And you know what, just to top it off, maybe a small piece of lechon. It's a very small piece. Oh, wonderful. No, that's all. All right, what an array of comforting food here. And I just couldn't help it with an extra lechon. And I got something here to quench the thirst. Not the white wine. This is a wonderful lychee lemonade. One of my favorites. Oh, so refreshing. Just a slight hint of sweetness and the floralness of the lychee. This is like a wonderful non-alcoholic Gewürztraminer. Mm, very nice. So really grateful for Chef Ladico and uh, last time we were here with Jackie and they were kind enough to show us around and uh, just explore the wonderful foods. So I think I'm gonna start off with the kere kere. And I did need to go for the rice. Let's see, a little bit of bagong. A three month, 90 day process with a little bit of the right rice. Mm. That is absolutely heavenly. The meat and the tripe are cooked perfectly tender and delicious. And the little bagong gives that an extra kick and when it becomes too much, that rice just marries the flavors wonderfully. Mm. So nice. And I don't think I can let that brisket wait. I just don't want the meats to get cold. And I think we will do this without a knife, Filipino style. <laughs> and, uh, and Chef uh, Ludico is back and he's been stepping in and out and uh, really joining me here. And look at this, this is spoon tender and a little bit of the gravy. Oh. That absolutely melts in the mouth. And Chef, you were yeah. saying this takes six, seven hours to prepare? Yes, uh, it's slow roasted. It renders the fat, so it makes it really tender and flavorful. Oh. So it's, when, not, it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's really great. And Chef, it absolutely shows. This is uh, fantastic here. Mm. I didn't get a chance to show you, but I think I, I'll film it in as well. But this house, as Chef Ledico mentioned, was since 1926. Uh, and it was run it was originally owned by a Jewish family. So I think... American Jew. American Jewish. So I think the brisket has passed on from one culture to the other and it just keeps improving. So speaking of cultures, I think we will try a wonderful uh, Filipino culture and that is the chicken joy culture. <laughs> fried chicken. <laughs> little fried chicken. Yeah. 
Lots of gravy. Mm. Crispy and juicy. It, it is crispy and juicy. And normally I skip the fried chicken at the buffet, but this is wonderfully sized and juicy and moist on the inside, but really dark, crunchy, crispy coating on the outside and a little bit more of the gravy. Oh, very good. And since I have the rice here, I do need to try the beef bakoa. And oh, I yes. hope I'm saying that correctly. Bahakoa. Balbakoa. Oh. I think this is a star anise. Yeah. Move to the side. Mm. Oh. So flavorful. A little bit of Asian flavors and spices, almost like five spice. And that beef is incredibly tender, but I think that something that is even more tender is this wonderful lingua here. Oh, a yeah. wonderful part ox of the ox. And as Chef Lidico says, this is ox tongue. And for the first time, I don't mind tasting something that can taste you back. Cheers. Oh. So rich. And with that luscious tongue, I think a little bit of rice is needed to soak up that wonderful cream sauce and that luscious tonguey goodness. Mm. So good. And finally, I have to try the Christmas special. And this is the wonderful Christmas specialty uh, chicken galantina with a bit of pork stuffing. And this is uh, one of the traditional Filipino with a little bit of that wonderful scalloped potato and the crusty bit, even better. And... Wow, that's a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. a galette on the top. One big bite. <laughs> Cheers to you. <laughs> it is a big bite. <laughs> All right. Wow. And as big as a bite is, the flavors are even bigger. That Galantina is so tender, so soft and succulent, and sweet and savory at the same time. Absolutely delicious. A perfect pairing. A more manageable bite this time. Mm. It's still very big. So I'm going to finish off this uh, wonderful comforting round, and then we'll, pick, we'll take you back for the wonderful desserts made by Chef Jackie herself. And uh, <laughs> I need a little bit of a drink. And Chef Ludico was noticing I was having trouble speaking, so I'm gonna skip the wine and go for the wonderful lychee iced tea. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Well, the chun is just as good at the end of the course <laughs> and I think I might have uh, overdone it. Too much rice, but it was certainly needed with all that comfort and goodness. And with that, while I still have a little bit of room, I think it's time for dessert. Let's check it out. Thank you, Chef. So really nice to see everyone keeping everything so well stocked up. And this looks immaculate. And starting on the end, we have some sprinkles and an array of little mini desserts. And we start off with the sprinkles because behind me is the ube ice cream machine. So we'll definitely need to try some of this, especially the ube. But let's see what they have. So a lot of this is the wonderful Filipino desserts, so I might need some help here. This is a yama cake. Little white cake with some coconut, some chocolate pudding. This is a Maha Blanca, very white. Uh, and look at this, a cloche of fruit salad. This is Prema de Fruta. Let's give that a try. And to break up all the whiteness, let's go for a Ube Leche Flan right in the center. And I think I'm taking each and every one, but I just can't help it. This is babinka. It's very fun to say, but I'm not sure how it's gonna taste, but only one way to find out. So again, this is very wonderfully foreign to me, especially with something called champornado, 
Let's give that a try. And I hate to say it, as nice as the leche flan looks, I think we will pass that up for a wonderful spoonful of puro boom boom. And I think there's just one more spot for the desserts here. But dessert cannot be complete without a little bit of uve ice cream. A perfect tip. Nothing like a little bit of ice cream and uh, really grateful for uh, Chef Ledico to join. Thank you so much. And uh, the desserts look absolutely amazing. So really grateful to you, Chef. Uh, and I know, uh, <laughs> wonderful. And Chef Ledico is quite busy with the holidays and he's been coming in and out, but uh, also popping in to check on, on the meals and also uh, congratulating all the wonderful uh, celebratorians here including uh, people celebrating for Christmas and newlyweds as well. So really grateful to see. And I think this is one of the reasons why this is my favorite buffet here. It's all the people, as good as the food is, it's the wonderful people celebrating. And with that, maybe a little bit of wine. Cheers to you. Mm. So I think we need to get started on the ube ice cream because like the lechon, it doesn't wait for you, you wait for it. And uh, let's give this a try. Deep and purpley good. Oh. That is so floral and subtly sweet. Little bit of coconut, I think. Yeah. Ah, beautiful. Mm. What a great start. And I think I have to try this here. This is the Yemma cake with, uh, I think, beautiful sponge. Little bit of coconut on top. Mmm. Nice and crumbly, but that is not coconut. That is mozzarella cheese, and uh, I am becoming used to the Filipino flavors. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of savoriness, all in one. Mm. It's an acquired taste, but one that I am quickly acquiring. And this one, I have no idea what it is. I think this is called champonado, and champonado, I suspect there might be some chocolate there, and some cream. Let's give this a try. Oh. When you're here, make sure you go for the lechon, the kere kere, the adobo sushi, and the champonado. I'm not sure what it is, but all I can say is it is just absolutely delicious. Chef Ludico, what is champanado? Champorado. Champorado. It's a rice porridge, but with chocolate. And we use a local native tablea chocolate. So light and silky and the best rice porridge I've ever had. And a messy one too. But those are the hazards. <laughs> well worth the mess. And uh, I can have a dozen of those. And uh, I think I'm gonna try this. What Chef, what is this? Bibinka. Oh, bibinka. Bibinka. And as Chef was saying, this is a celebratory dessert. Yeah, it's and, a coconut rice cake. And you mentioned that in that, like after, after Sunday, and you mentioned that after Sunday service, they would yes. have stands out there. Simbangkabi. Simbangkabi. Mm. It's like a coconut cake. Mm. Very delicious. And I think the one thing that would make it go even better, some ube ice cream. Oh. <laughs> I've, oh, wow. I've done you're this talking. before. <laughs> now you're and this is high compliments from Chef. Cheers to you. Mm. Warm cake, cold ice cream. Wonderful floral flavors of the banana leaf. And I think Chef Jackie mentioned that the Fruta de Mara cake is something not to miss. Oh my goodness. Just cutting into it, I can see the syrupy goodness. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a cake or a pudding because it just melts in the mouth. And while it looks very simple, it is nothing but beautiful textures, beautiful flavors. Mm. That is so good and such a wonderful, comforting meal. 
So thank you so much for joining. And this is the eponymous restaurant, Chef Ludico Gavaras. And Chef, thank you so much for all you do. And, and thank you for uh, hopping in and checking, keeping me company and checking in on me. It's, it's all my pleasure, man. Oh. I'm happy that you love the food, that it brings you like joy and, and happiness. And that's, comfort. That's, and comfort, because that's pretty much what we want to, you know, all the guests here feel. You know, like they're at home, you're, you're eating as much food as you want, being satisfied. So it's, it's such a great pleasure to have. Thank you so much, Chef. And, and with all the turmoil in the world, it's just kind of nice to escape and connect. And I can drink to that. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. We, we actually finished the whole bottle. Oh, <laughs> if you don't tell, I won't tell. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to you. Awesome. Mm. So thank you so much for joining. And until we see each other again, uh, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're traveling well. And of course, I hope you're eating well. And uh, what do they say? As they say, um, to all a Merry Christmas and to all a good night. I know I might be getting that wrong and that's because of the delicious wine. So after a wonderful meal, it's so nice to walk in the gardens of this magnificent house. And uh, they're just starting their second seating right now and it is busy shoulder to shoulder and Chef Ludico taking pictures and more pictures and then even more pictures. Really nice to see and I just wanted to say what I had trouble saying in there. Uh, I just hope you all are doing well and a Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.